I'm old school, when I learned to drive, the first thing I was then taught was how to change the wheel on my car. One problem with Teslas is if you have a puncture, you don't get a spare tyre, and you can't use one of those goo injection kits that purportedly plug the hole from the inside because there's a layer of foam on the inside under the tread. So I've bought a generic uh, space saver replacement tyre and rim online. And I'm not showing any brand names here. And they often come with a scissor jack that looks a bit like this. I actually bought this separately, but they're all pretty much the same. This one's supposedly two tons. Um, scissor jack's more useful for me because it's lighter and more compact than a trolley jack. However, with a Tesla, when you jack it up, you're meant to use a rubber puck, which fits into a hole under the chassis rail. Um, and spreads the load from the disc of, say, a trolley jack, like this, here. Now these jacks don't come with the disc on the top, they come with a, a, a channel shape like this, which is meant to go under a, a sort of a downward edge on the frame rail, and they're just generic, they're made for all sorts of cars. I haven't seen a Tesla specific one, so I've made one. Um, this has been cut down as low as I can get it while allowing the mechanism to still work and then to the top I've welded with some braces a thick disc of metal and there's some tangs here um, which will locate the rubber puck so I need to test this and see if it actually works on the Tesla well now the first thing to think about is if there's a puncture the car will actually be maybe a centimetre or two lower than this so can you even get the jack in? That's the first thing to think about. Um, you can if you put the puck in, then slide the jack in. In fact, clearly I'm going to remove one of these tangs, because I might need the extra few millimetres of space to get it in. I could even cut down the rubber puck so it's about half the thickness, should gain me another centimetre. I've got a funny feeling not many people have done this in the real world at the side of the road. So we'll jack it up, get it started. Okay, so let's see if it'll jack the car up. Okay. That took a bit of effort, but the tire is just off the ground, so it can be done. I think I will use this for emergencies. So having done my little experiment, I've actually cut this tang down so it's about one millimetre high. So that means I can slide, put the puck up into the hole and then slide this in under the car onto the puck like that which gives you the absolute minimum possible ground clearance because there isn't much space under the car especially if it has a flat tyre